Hello everyone, Jimbus Gaming here, and today I'm gonna bring you another video. Today, uh, this should be after the suggestions video if I do put it up. So if you guys do see the video up, go check it out. Otherwise, I'll put it out in a minute or in a day or two. I don't know. Um, but I saw a couple comments, and you can just go look if you want to see the comments. They're on my recent Minecraft videos. But yeah, those those comments triggered this video, and I've also been wanting to do this video for a while now. Um, and this video is an OBS tutorial. Uh, just so you know, there's infinite. It does the thing where I'm recording with OBS right now, and it's being glitchy, and you can see that it does infinite screens. So if you don't like that, um, I don't know what I can do. But this is for um, anyone who's new, and this is also for if you want to get real, like, um, specific, it's for Video Encoding Encoder X264. So, yeah. First of all, if you're new to OBS, um, what you're going to want to do, I'll just make a new one. You're going to want to right-click on Scenes press add scene and you can name it whatever you want you can name it Skype whatever I don't know name it Skype and you'll see that um, there currently is nothing on the screen and that's because you don't have any sources so what you're gonna wanna do is um, press add and go to whatever you want I'm gonna add uh, window capture really fast name that whatever you want sure it uh, doesn't matter I'll redo that you wanna right click sources add uh, it should be monitor capture I believe yeah All right. so now you'll have the screen up if you do monitor capture it records all of your monitor not any games or any of that so what you're gonna wanna do is go back to add and you're gonna have to go to game capture name it whatever name for me I'm gonna just name it minecraft for the sake of the video and here um, it might not be up for you that it shows whatever you're doing so what you're gonna wanna do is open up the game that you're playing and for me it's just gonna be minecraft so I'll just do this uh, this open up minecraft play and I don't know if you could see that here in the background come on okay so next what you're gonna wanna do is refresh it and it should come up with Minecraft 1.9.2. Otherwise, you can click on it and go to this Minecraft 1.1.9.2. 1. And if you want, you can capture mouse cursor, and there you go. And make sure when you record. Oh, this looks glitchy. But make sure when you record that it's in s small screen. Uh, next we're gonna go to the main part in settings. So um, next you're going to want to go into settings and I'm not very precise in everything that goes on because I'm not, I don't know, I just, I've seen like three different videos of different things and I mashed it all together into one tutorial to try and get anyone who uses X264 the best capture quality and um, so it doesn't lag or anything like that. X264 versus NVIDIA NVE NC is NVIDIA you have to have a capture card I think that's what it's called not uh, I'm not sure now I believe it's called a capture card now I feel stupid but this is this one is a mix of two different things I forgot what those are called as well so sorry if I'm like really bad uh, uh, explaining anything I just know what to do but you can copy everything on my screen 
right here uh, quality balance 10 and you can read that pause the video read this uh, set your max bit rate to 3000 and you might have to check off use custom buffer size and you can pause for any of these that show up for the thing and change your buffer size to zero uh... in audio encoding you want to change your bitrate to ninety six it sh your channel should already be on stereo and i think you might have to change your codec to aac and the format to forty eight kilohertz uh... broadcast settings for anyone who's new uh... you want to change it should be on live stream when you have it change it to file output only and you can choose the file path to wherever you want to put it um, change replay buffer length to one if it's not there already and you can choose where your live stream goes as well next yeah sure next wait what did i do Okay. Next into video, you want to change your video adapter. If you have um, this NVIDIA NVENC, you want to go into video and change it to that if it's not there already. Okay. But I don't, so I just want to keep it at HD graphics 4400. And you want to change it to custom if it's not there already and change it to 1920 by 1080 and 1080 is for 1080p which is HD basically and change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and it should be there already I believe and resolution downscale um, you can read that it says downscale can improve video quality at the cost of resolution I don't know what that means but you want to change it to none it should be there already and you want to put up your FPS to 60 because I believe that's like the most FPS that a human can see at one time so yeah you want to change it to that all the way up to 60 next in audio for anyone who's new this is the main part if you don't have a mic then it'll be on disable I believe or default and I have a blue snowball so I'm just gonna put on put it on to a blue snowball and um, these things you can change yourself you can just mess around with these you can mess around with a lot of these actually like uh, yes in audio I'm dumb in um, video you can change this up or down you can change this down depending what however big you want it but most people just have it at this and encoding you can change the max bit rate you can change buffer size you can change quality balance and just for quality balance the higher up you go the better quality the video will be and you can change these as well but next into Hotkeys, these won't do anything um, unless you want to like change start recording to like F7 or F8 or whatever it is or and to stop recording and that crap. But next into advanced, this is probably the most important part of the video I believe. I don't know what any of this is like I said I'm not very good at explaining these things because I'm not very good with coding and that kind of stuff if that makes sense. Uh, you want to check everything here besides disable encoding while previewing. You want to change this up to 700. Put process priority class to normal. You can change this if you want. If you know what you're talking about. Next in the video, you want to change your X264 CPU preset to ultra fast. It should say something like, yeah, it should say this. And that'll be fine because you change your encoding profile it should be on main right now change it to high and that'll just cancel this out um, next you want to do use CFR and also you want to check off this and what you're gonna want to type in is CR oops sorry CRF equals 15 
I have no clue what that does, obviously, because, like I've been saying, I don't know what any of this really does. I've just mashed all these into one video. Um, next, you don't want to check any of these off. Uh, you can mess around with this. I don't know what these do. If it's not at zero, change this to zero. And uh, don't have these two balance or these two checked off. Quick sync encoder. I'll say yes. I don't know what any of these do either. I've not been on this ever. And these three or no, yeah. You'll see a line right here. These are all plugins that you can get into, um, into OBS. And scene switcher is like you can put overlays on, I believe. And all that stuff. Plugin is not running. I can start it if I want, and I can put an overlay over my video. Like you know, you can see a lot of COD YouTubers doing that. I've seen other people do that. So uh, yeah, that's all. That's all you guys really need to do for settings. Um, anything else? No. Um, the only other thing is, if you want to capture anything, make sure that you have it in small screen. Because if uh, you put it in full screen and start playing whatever it is, like, just go on this, I don't know. If you just start going on this, it's gonna lag bad I I believe I haven't really tried it out too much yet but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna lag your, the OBS software I have no clue why it just does that and that's why you put it to 1920 by 1080 1080 like I said is 1080p and that's HD quality and um, I this should take up more space on your computer but if you want more high quality videos make sure you put these settings on Otherwise, you won't have as good of quality uh, for videos and that kind of stuff. And in general, make sure, like, I don't think you can hear my keyboard that much at all. Make sure you don't, make sure, okay, I'm stuttering. Make sure that um, you put your keyboard away from the mic, or at least have it so that you can't really hear the keyboard. Because my mic is a little bit away from the keyboard and my keyboard isn't very loud. So I don't really have to worry that much. But other people, if you have like a mechanical keyboard that makes really loud sounds, it's going to be annoying for people watching the video. And I've seen that in comments on a few videos of mine and it's not from my computer or my keyboard. It's from uh, high, or Productions keyboard because he has a mechanical keyboard and those things are super loud and I've seen them on a few other videos of other people but uh, anyways I'm gonna put this here if you guys do enjoy the video please make sure that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe and as always guys Gemma's Gaming signing out